we're, we're going to try to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, after we get done here, we've only got a couple hours, and we have to decide what we're going to play tonight. So we'll go and think about that a little bit. We may play some video games. Yeah. And uh, But it is nice outside. We might not do that. Yeah, there's no time. We'll open the windows while we play video games. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll, that'll be how we uh, uh, engage in the festival. We'll, we'll open, <laughs> open the windows while we play video games. That's not true. We're going to try to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. We went from 15 people at the coffee shop to 22 people at the Mexican restaurant to 28 people at this bar and then 40 people, at, you know, so... Uh, it's great. It's great. It's 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 interesting figuring out how to process the energy of so many people, and to, and to try to provide for them an energy that matches it, without just collapsing. But I think we do we we do that pretty well. It was last night I had a dream. And we were playing for this crowd. It was maybe 2,000 people. It was kind of going back to a place we played several years ago, and it was a really tough show. And I closed my eyes to sing a verse and the song finished up and when I opened my eyes, everybody was gone, except our photographer. So what he's saying is he has this very deep fear that people are going to stop caring. When I close what my eyes, don't leave. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Please. We find that when we spend time together outside of touring, in a quiet place, a lot of material, more material than we can handle, uh, comes to the surface and is created. We're always being moved and and being affected by what's happening just like we are right now and we we try to document that as we go along when Seth and I get together there's more songs than we'll ever be able to write uh, get laid on the table so our process is really just being present with each other maintaining our relationship and our our uh, communion together uh, because without that it kind of floats away and a lot of opportunities to make really terrific works of art get missed. The key uh, to our process would be showing up, spending time together, being there physically for each other uh, outside of touring uh, and live performances. The first tour we did in 2002, one of the most ridiculous things, it was a sign of how much of a hillbilly I am. Uh, as we planned touring, I, I thought it'd be a good idea that we camp every night instead of stay at people's houses or in hotels to keep a distance from the world, I guess. So uh, for safety and for cost. For safety and cost, and we were we were raised to to carry a gun when you go camping. So we took a shotgun that I'd been instructed <laughs> to not take because it might have been illegal. And then we found ourselves in Indianapolis with a truck that was broken down and police all around us trying to help us. At the end of a tour with thousands of dollars in cash, in cash and in an, an envelope, envelope under our under our dashboard With a and a sawed-off off shotgun. shotgun behind our seat, all because we thought we were being safe and, and protective yeah, and conservative or careful. And, uh, but actually, we just looked like a bunch of drug dealers. We're just hillbillies. That's all we were. And it, from that point, we had to get to the, the point where we are now, which who knows where we got to get to now, but there was a lot of learning that needed to be done from that point on. We don't carry a sawed-off shotgun with us anymore. Hello, I'm Scott Avett. And I'm Seth Avett, and we're the Avett Brothers. And we're with the Grammys at Austin City Limits Fest.